On behalf of the Latinx Education Collaborative Board of Directors, it is my pleasure to introduce our recipient for the 2020 Chairs Award. Randy is the son of immigrants, a dot, and a graduate of the Kansas City, Kansas School District. He's a colleague, an advocate, and a friend. Randy has broken barriers by becoming the first Latino to be elected to the Kansas City, Kansas School Board. And within his first six months of becoming a member, he is the chair of this board. He makes us proud and not only represents our Latino students and families, but proudly serves all teachers, students, and parents in our district. It's a pleasure to walk beside this young man as he blazes a trail for the next generation of Latinos. Help me congratulate Randy Lopez as 2020's Latinx Education Collaborative's chair recipient. Congratulations, Randy. Randy Lopez, I am currently serving as the president of the Board of Education for Kansas City, Kansas Public Schools. I wanted to run for the board. Uh, honestly, I wanted to make a difference. Um, you know, I wanted to help lift others uh, with me to have their voices heard. Um, and to be honest, I love Wyandotte County and I love Kansas City, Kansas. Um, and I feel like I have the learned and lived experience to, to give back, to offer up ideas and to help lead our district. Um, at the same time, I also, you know, recognize that at the time our board was, was not reflective of our student population. You know, we have a district with over 50% Latino students um, and we had no Latinos serving on our board at that, at that time. So, uh, you know, I, I felt it was important um, to, to at least run, even if I didn't win or wasn't elected, I at least wanted to, to run for that, um, that board and show our students and community that, that we need to show up. Um, but above all, you know, I just, I just care about our students and our families and I feel like I can give back and, and support our families and students. When it comes to representation, uh, all the research shows, and, and you know this, but all the research shows, no matter what profession or, or um, that you're in, whether it's education, health, law, whatever it is, um, seeing someone that you can identify with, someone that looks like you or has a similar background as you, um, has so much positive impact on whether you see yourself in that setting. And in the classroom and the education system, it's, it's even more so critical. Um, for our students to see some, someone, teachers, administrators who are diverse. Um, student outcomes are improved. Um, social emotional well-being um, is also improved. Um, and our students can feel connected with their teachers um, who serve as their mentors, as guides, as counselors, as friends. Um, so it's super, super important. And I know what it means for students to see someone who can identify, who they can identify with. Um, you know, I've worked for years as a youth group director and mentor and I can't tell you how many times I've had students come back and as they've gotten older and tell me how important it was to have a Latino male um, that they could connect with and relate to. Um, so it's, it's, it's important, um, it's necessary, and it should be a priority for us to make sure that um, representation matters. It goes, the impact goes um, beyond the classroom. Um, it, changed li it changes lives if we're very intentional with it. For aspiring teachers, aspiring educators, man, um, we need you. Um, you're most, you're one of the most influential, uh, critical people in the life of our students and of our families. Um, you're going to help shape the lives of, of students every single day. Um, and, and, uh, it's not going to be easy. So be prepared to work, work hard, be prepared, uh, to learn, but most of all, be prepared to laugh and to love. Um, as an educator, you're going to have the opportunity to create change, both short term and long term in our educational system. Um, and, and you're gonna get to define success, uh, what success looks like for our students, um, far beyond some data point on some standardized test, right? Um, as an educator, you're going to help shape the life of a young mind. And, and that is so critical and vital to our community and to our students. So, um, so but, but, and we need you. Um, so please uh, continue to work hard because you are so important for our students.